Hello everyone, welcome back to Webzy Wongi's channel here. Um, I was just gonna address something and I recently heard someone do a video about it. Um, but I wanted to make a video of my own about, um, the brutal truth of cancers. Um, but something that add into it, um, before I get into the truths of cancers. Um, Zodiac, <laughs> Zodiac Cancer. Uh, but before I say that, I wanted to address something that really has been very difficult for me to even express and to share with you all. And I hope in any way, if anybody that is knows what's going on in this situation finds this video or comes across this video, I'm not putting you down. I'm just expressing, you know, what's really going on inside. And just recently, I've had an incident that has happened to me where it happened about February. Um, and someone came to me, who's a really good friend, um, told me something that they were worried about me and my boyfriend. And um, they really didn't give evidence of why they felt that way. They just felt that way. And then, you know, it really played with my mind. It really played with my emotion because I started overanalyzing things and overlooking into the matter. Like, what really is going on? You know, do they have a crush on me? Do they like me? Do they want to be with me? And it really got to me. It brought a lot of self-doubt, a lot of self-worth issues going on. It made me feel like, you know... Um, you know, doubting my own relationship. Um, it just brought up a lot of this past issues I've had with some people in my past. And it's like, I thought I was over with it. I thought I was done with it. I thought it was no returning. But like I told you, and I've prepared you guys for these energy shifts. And it really has affected me in a tremendous way. And just to warn everybody, you know, I'm not suicidal. I am okay. It's just I'm going through this period where I just have to disconnect from Facebook and from, you know, talking to people as much as I would like to. Um, you can talk to me if you want. I just, I'm going to be brutal honest with you, okay, about a cancer. And I feel like a lot of this is, you know, my own fault. I allow things to become more than what they really are. You know, I overanalyze things and I over assume things were happening when they weren't. And then just recently, a few days ago, which um, was it yesterday or the day before, they finally told me the truth. <clears throat> they finally came out and said what the heck was wrong that I needed to hear to move on in this situation that progressed for almost two months from February to March and it's end of March. So pretty much going on almost into April and I had no answers. So I was in limbo. And one thing that I just want to address about cancers is, you know, I, I'm not bashing anybody that does like, you know, tarot card readings or people that assume cancers are the horrible people out there. Um, you know, sometimes I say that about Pisces, they're, you know, they're the, they play the victim. Hey, cancers can play the victim. I'm just being real with y'all. But, um, yeah, cancers, people do come across as us cancers being manipulative, being very emotional, very sensitive, especially to the moon and the different shifts that happen in the moon. Like when it's a full moon, it affects us. When the ties roll in, it affects our energy, people. Um, but, you know, there's so much to say about cancers, but I'm just being real with you all. Um, it's easy to get into the illusion of everything. And like I told you about Pisces season, how it affected me. I just, you know, want to be honest. You know, it was a tug of war for me to figure out things. And the thing is, we always want to figure out things. We always want to fix the situation or we want to, you know, we want to slap someone up between the head and say, hello, do you hear what I'm saying? Tell me what's really going on, you know? 
and I couldn't for a long time I could not figure out I felt this energy coming to me and like I told you in one of my videos I felt this energy come to me it was almost like an awakening to me you know it's kind of hard to explain it like adrenaline and rush came to me and it's like this is not my energy and it made me question myself for a minute like where is this coming from and I felt like it was coming from the other person like messages or something coming to me and it really got a toll on me and especially when you know just a few days ago the message came out the truth came out everything was revealed that I needed to move on but even before that time, just in this last week and this week, I've had major breakdown, crying and frustrated. And yesterday was a real huge breakdown. I just let it out. You know, I was, you know, my boyfriend was um, with his brother in the other house taking care of, you know, video games and stuff playing and stuff which is nice I get you know my alone time and I just let it all out let me cry my eyes out um because I needed that I needed that time to process this hurt to process this pain and that's thing a lot of us don't do especially as cancers we get to a point and a level where we just push everything down and act like it's not really there when it is there you know you're your feelings need the attention, you know, and just two days ago, when I found out about this, I was so pissed, because I, I've been waiting to get this answer, you know, just tell me what the heck I did wrong, because they unfriended me, and I was not getting the answers, and then when I got the answers, I was disappointed, not only in myself, but I felt like a stupid idiot to believe that whatever I believed, because I really thought this person had a crush on me. I really felt their energy was coming towards me and saying, hey, I want to be with you. Hey, I like you. Hey, let's go. I don't know. It's just, it was a horrible feeling because it was a mind game, a fuckery of the mind manipulating me into believing that they wanted to be with me. When it wasn't true, and I knew the truth was, I love my boyfriend, I want to be with my boyfriend, and nothing's going to stop that, but it was just a toll on me, and it just, it wasn't getting resolved. <clears throat> Anyways, um, there was no resolution to this problem, and you know, I don't mean to be too in-depth with my life, and problems and just sound like a me 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 all about me 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 but this person told me that and don't get the wrong idea about me I'm sure some of you have done this before you know you're looking through Facebook looking and watching people but the only reason why I would well first of all they they thought that I was a stalker on Facebook their friends suggested it and many of their friends were concerned about it and everything I get that but no I mean I'll check people like if I'm not friends with them I'll check on to see you know how they're doing or whatever but it's not a constant thing and here lately I don't always get people's posts that I'm friends with and so I check to see if I'm getting their posts, see if I missed anything, but apparently they thought I was a stalking their page and stalking all their comments and posts and blah blah blah. That's enough said. I'm not trying to hate on this person. I don't hate on this person, but in their mind they probably were felt like they were manipulated in some way. They felt like it was a mind game, like who's this person? Who, why are they doing all this stuff? But the thing is, I was just being me, normal me. You know, if I'm your friend, I try to be loyal. I try to be there for you. I try to support you. You know, I know that they were going through a breakup. You know, I'm trying to support you. I'm not trying to get with you. And it's like, if you have the wrong idea, I'm sorry, but that's on you. Um, but yeah, that's the same thing for me. I was getting the impression that they had a crush on me. 
they liked me. You know, I only liked them as a friend. Nothing more than that. Um, but I just feel like, honesty, like when I look at it from both sides, and now that I have the facts, you know, it's easy as a cancer to get in your emotions <laughs> and to get the wrong idea. And I'm sure that's what happened. Miscommunication. We assume that things happened, but they really weren't there. And that's one thing I love about the Course in Miracles is it teaches you, you know, to retrain your mind. And all this was, <laughs> really, all this was, was an illusion. And it's like people, people are like sucked into this. And it's like I was even sucked into the illusion of it all. That this is facts when it's not. And I just feel like if you're trying to get answers from someone, don't get answers from yourself. <laughs> I mean, there's a point of trying to figure it out. Trying to obsess over the thoughts of, is this what really is happening because I'm feeling uncomfortable here? Or what is really going on? And that's what I did not like about this Pisces season. It's like you guys have got to be careful. You know, when you get into your thinking that something's happening when it's really not. And the thing is, you know, like my, my son is in... Um, like when I was born, my son is in Cancer and my moon is in Libra. And right before I was born was on the um, ascendant of Pisces. So it's like I have, <laughs> I have some, you know, effects from Pisces season than I would like to because, you know, I'm affected by it. And having Libra Moon, you know, I think too much like a damn bird, you know, tit, 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 tit. you know, overanalyzing is such a problem. But I just feel like if you're the truth about us cancers is, you know, people say we're manipulators. We are masters of manipulators, just like an Aquarius or Gemini, they're masters of the mind. They know how the mind works. Where cancers, they know how manipulation works. So they can sense when someone's manipulating them and their energy and toiling with their emotions. And that's what I feel like that I have been toyed with. And I don't like that. And, you know, a couple of days ago, like when I found out this happened and the truth was out, you know, it really pissed me off, like I said, but... I'm just trying to take these few couple days, you know, just try to, you know, get off of social media just for a week, just to refocus and rebalance myself. But anyways, enough said about that, but I'm just saying the brutal truth of cancers. We know how manipulation works. <laughs> so it's not that we're manipulators and we know how it works. Yes. Does cancers manipulate? We can if we choose to, but I'm not saying... You know, every cancer does that. I'm just saying we know how it works. We know how emotions work, okay? So don't mess with us. <laughs> um, and the other thing is, you know, we're the mother of the zodiac. You know, we like to nurture. We like to care. And it's like if you're in a relationship with a cancer, you know, they're a great partner to care for you and take care of you. But... You don't want to mess with the cancer. <laughs> but it's like that was the hardest part is letting go of this. Because once as a cancer, we get connected so easily to anything. Vibrations, energies, we want to gravitate. You know, we're like a magnet. We're like a sponge. And so it's very hard to detach. It's very hard to let go. And so when this all happened and that tower moment happened for me, you know, I'm still trying to resolve my emotions with this because it's like it was a mind and heart issue. And it's like I couldn't get through it. <laughs> but anyways, I hope this doesn't sound like too, I, she's a victim of her emotions. I'm just expressing to you that you guys got to be careful. You know, when you feel like things are something, 
if you don't get the facts, if you don't get the actual facts from the person, it's all in your mind. <laughs> it's an illusion. You know, it's not really there. And it's like we build these stories in our mind that aren't even actual factual. So um, I'm trying to get the rest of the readings done, which I might have to finish, um, you know, Sagittarius singles and the other ones. But I just wanted to express what's been going on. And now that we're in Aries, it's just tears coming down. It's like, you know, a lot of healing going on for me. Anyways, bye-bye.